reading about some of these issues. Why do you keep me at arm's length? Only approach me with arm strength. Don't you know that I'm harmless? These are the words I started to write. Thinking like I could be a voice for the unvoiced victim. Like I could represent those physically missing. Like I could cry out so that someone might listen. Like I could make a difference from that side of the system. But as I scrawled in the comfort of a cafe drinking coffee, contemplating issues like the mornings getting frostier while trying to wrap my head around a shrapnel bomb to the rhythm envisioned in a rap song, hypocrisy confronted me, whispered not so subtly, and I realized it was more like, why do I keep you at arm's length? I'm apathetic to the armless, and I don't mean the armless like no trigger in the harness. I mean literally armless, like the limb lives in the past tense. Like the most I understand about losing a limb would be trying to go a day without using my sim or the phone that is in. The weapons on my home shores are misused razors. Venomous phrases on a book of faces. Caffeinated vapors and chemical chases and round pills employed to be functional saviors. But to live with someone else other than yourself presents the biggest harm to your physical health where crates crammed with bullets reach hearts harboring hate where there's often no food to match having no plate to see your son, daughter, cousin, brother, sister or friend dressed in blood crying out for the pain to end I can't understand or pretend to comprehend I'm quick to speak on behalf of but I haven't listened to them spiraling from thinking I'm a saviour to feeling like the danger, to knowing there's a problem with thinking I could save anyone I still treat like a stranger. Reminds me of a creator in a cow trough called a manger. How often I put the sacred humanity in a too hard box for later. Like, yeah, I'll think about you later. I'll read about it later. I'll sign some paper later. I'll learn how to pronounce your name. Not now, but maybe later. I'll come over and fix your country and demilitarize it later. Well, we don't all have the luxury of such generous servings of later. Right now, we keep you at arm's length. But if we reap what we sow and plan what we'll harvest, why do we keep producing hate, farm fresh and heartless? Investing in weaponry creates returns in enemies. Saying have the weapons, like saying you're dead to me. Or you might as well be, because your life isn't worth the pennies of the wealthy. Spending on death to sustain a way of life means minimizing breath to legitimate the price. But it's a complex equation when the tools for invading give homes to the rich and cost the poor safe haven. And I was speechless when I found where our investments reside. Like is a stable economy worth supporting weapon supplies that have the power to uninvent innocent lives? We could extend a hand to those who need it most. Instead, we extend the kind of arms that break needed bones. And possibly most ironically, the dichotomy is this. Arms lead to hands. Armies lead to fists. Armor protects, but the armless resist. And if we only trade arms to take arms, who's going to be left to pay arms? See, arms can lead to open palms, but palms can wield napalm. And the so-called bad guys are rarely who they harm. If the list of limbs is getting under your skin, then ask yourself, who do you keep at arm's length? Who do you only approach with arm's strength? Don't you know that without arms we'd be harmless? So put your arms up if you want a world trade that's armless.